or welcome back to my channel Stitch and Style by me Nadia and today I'm going to do another Friday series where I talk about what I've been up to this week. The first thing I want to show you is my finished dress which is the Davenport dress by Friday Pattern Company. It's in this gorgeous fabric which I got from Guthrie and Garney when I went to their soap bum event and I absolutely love the material. I think it's so nice. Now, I did get some pictures the other day in the light. It's a little bit dark at the moment. I'll pop those up for you to see the dress on me. The Davenport dress has a quite high neckline and it's got some elastic in a little channel at the front. And that means you don't need any closures, so, or zips or anything so you can just pull it on over your head and I lengthen the sleeves I was intending to include a ruffle on it and them not to be quite as long as they are but when I went to sew it up I think I misread the instructions instead of folding it at the notch I folded up to the notch I did sew the ruffle in so maybe you can just see there there is a tiny little ruffle but it's nowhere as big as it's supposed to be on the pattern but I'm happy with really happy with the length of the sleeves they come right down to my wrist so and I love the fullness of the sleeve now with the skirt there is supposed to be another tear on the bottom now I omitted that tear I did lengthen the main panel of the skirt by quite a few centimetres but as you can see it's still probably hitting me about mid thigh. I had to put um, a seam down the centre back of the skirt, it's just here. Um, I don't think you notice too much because of the print of the fabric and that was just because I didn't have enough fabric to cut it out on, on the fold. The I've only got a tiny little bit of this fabric left. I think I got two and a half metres of this fabric and with the sleeves that takes up quite a lot of material so um, I didn't have too much to play around with. Now I did have enough for both sides of the yoke. There's two front and back yoke pieces and four front yoke pieces and it just makes sure that it's like really nicely finished on the inside because it's finished using a burrito method so here on the back panel you've got some um, gathering here and I really do love this dress I've made two before but they all look completely different the other thing that I changed with this dress is rather than put a drawstring on it I put some elastic on the waistband just to bring that in a little bit now since I took the photos I have included the pockets on but I wasn't happy with how they were sitting they hadn't stretched out or anything but I did interface them and the pattern didn't call for interfacing um, I realized after I'd interfaced them and I thought oh it'll be fine because you interface quite a lot of pockets anyway but it meant that they stuck out a little bit. Now, I wasn't bothered about the shape it gave me. I was a little bit more bothered about that it looked a little bit untidy. And after wishing I'd not put the pockets on it, I just decided to sew the pockets down. So now they are no longer functioning pockets. But you can see there, I've just sewed the pocket down. That That's not me attempting to pat match by the way I just it just happened by accident that the same colour flower where it met and um, yeah you can see that it's not pat matched anyway and I was just so happy to work with this fabric it is absolutely beautiful quality I actually watched Gina um, I think her channel is Gina Seams I'll put it here if it's not um, and she was wearing this fabric um, in her latest um, vlog and I thought oh I really do love it so this is all packed um, well it was all, it's a little bit creased because it was all packed and ready for me to take on my little sewing weekend which I'm going to so this weekend I'm going to Guthrie and Garney um, a sewing workshop there and I'm really looking forward to making my own jeans. 
what I'm planning to do is to do um, a vlog where I kind of document my thoughts and feelings about making jeans and hopefully I'll be able to show you the finished product. Obviously I'm not going to do any filming while I'm in Guthrie and Garni. Um, hopefully I might get a little bit of footage at the end of the day once I've finished um, just to talk about what we did the first day but I'll kind of see how I feel because um, we're making a little bit of a weekend of it, me and my husband, so um, I want to have time to also switch off and relax while I'm there. Before I move on, I'll just share what I'm wearing today and this is the Tabitha t-shirt dress that I made in um, a brushed viscose material and I'm wearing underneath my Freya top in this little animal print and my Blackwood cardigan by Helen's Closet. Now the next thing I want to share with you is that I've actually signed up this month to a subscription box. Now I've never signed up to a subscription box before because I'm not very keen on having a surprise but I've been watching Crystal and Adele and they both are signed up to a subscription service by Little Miss So and So and I decided I would sign up for this month's box. Now I've done this with on my own money and um, yeah it's not sponsored or anything but I thought I would share like what I chose. Now I've signed up for the So Luxurious box which gives you fabrics from designers and I use the code um, so I got, I think it was 10% off my first box or something. You have a choice of a woven pattern or a stretch pattern and then woven or stretch fabrics. Now, I was a little bit torn with this one because the stretch pattern was the Itch to Stitch Castillo cardigan for my size range. And the Stylark Loren jacket from sizes 18 to 30. Both jackets are lovely, but I don't really feel like the Stylark jacket, which was available in my size, I would really choose to make or choose to wear. The woven pattern is the hinterland dress by so liberated and if you've been watching my channel a while you know that i absolutely love that dress i really do like it i already have it pdf um and i was debating whether to go with a pattern that i don't have already or whether to get the pattern that i do have already but just get a nice printed out version a nice fresh copy that i can just cut into and I decided that I would just get the hinterland dress again and go for some woven fabric. Um, they did have um, for the cardigan pattern and the jacket pattern, they did have some lovely cosy colours, <laughs> which I love the cosy colours. So that was tempting to go with that and get a cosy colours. Um, maybe hack the cardigan um, to change it into a bit of a shorter one but I just decided no I'm going to stick with the hinterland dress and I went for a Dashwood Studios um, monochrome daisy flower cotton fabric and I'm really happy with the fabric choices that they had they had some beautiful fabrics I couldn't decide between the flamingo fabric which was Lady McElroy or the Dashwood Studios but I thought I will get a little bit more wear out of the Dashwood Studios. It's a little bit more muted and maybe a little bit more me. So that's what I've chosen for my subscription box. Now I'm going to be excited for it to arrive and to see the fabric. This week I also got cut out two new projects. Now they're both things that I've made pretty recently so um, yeah one of them is the Ermine blouse by Fibre Mood 
and if you saw my video last week I made that in a chambray fabric now I've decided to make it in a viscose and I think it's like a twill fabric um I'll just grab it it's this fabric here and now I think this is from rainbow fabrics if I remember rightly um and it's viscose white with a black spot and I thought this will make a really pretty blouse especially for work and I'm determined to um, conquer the ermine blouse and learn from a couple of mistakes that I made last time. So the, the one thing I've done to the pattern is I've just raised the seam that goes here with all the gathering into it. I've just raised that by one centimetre. Um, so I've just adjusted the pattern because I didn't feel like it was sitting quite in the right place for me. And I think that's the only change I've made. I have um, made a bit more of the bias binding because I'm tempted to do change the finish along the front and rather than fold this the placket down, rather than stitch the placket down and then flip it out, I'm thinking of just going all the way across with the bias binding to the end. Um, I don't know whether I'd prefer that finish. I'm just going to see when I get there what I think. I think this is going to have a really different look to the one I made last time. The other thing that I've cut out is a Ava skirt, which is in the wool fabric that I bought um, the other week from First for Fabrics. And I've cut out the lining in a Cupro fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. I'm going to get so much wear out of it. I actually wore the ermine blouse that I made and my overskirt together the other week. And I'll pop in a picture of me in the outfit for when I went into the office. So I've really enjoyed catching up with you um, again this week. I just wanted to say a big thanks to everybody who watches, um, comments, likes and subscribes to my channel. I really do appreciate every single one of you and I hope you all have um, an absolutely lovely weekend and you get some sewing done if you want to and I'll see you next time. Bye!